Westfield produced their featherweight FW400, which raced to 60 in just 3.6 seconds, nearly half a second quicker than Caterham's Superlight R. So this year, it's Caterham's turn to up the ante. still isn't as light as the carbon fibre Westfield, but what Caterham have done is to squeeze an extra 40 horsepower out of the Rover power plant to give the 500 a power to weight ratio of 500 bhp per tonne, which means it can launch itself from 0 to 60 in just 3.4 seconds. <laughs> acceleration. It means nimble and responsive early. <laughs> now, to put all this power to weight ratio to some sort of perspective, just imagine that at 460 kilos, this little caterham is just half the weight of a Ford Fiesta, equivalent to about five well-built rugby players. A Ferrari 550 Marinello may well have nearly 480 horsepower, but it weighs over 1,600 kilos, the same as the whole rugby team put together, which is why it can only get from 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. Indeed, even if you could cram that glorious 5.5-litre V12 Ferrari engine into this little tiny Fiesta, it still wouldn't have a better power-to-weight ratio than the little Caterham. From the outside, it looks little different to any other Seven, continuing the windscreen-free super-light tradition, but adding lighter magnesium alloy rims, body-hugging racing seats, and a carbon fibre dashboard with a rev counter red-lined at 9,200 RPM. The Seven has come a long way since its birth 40 years ago. is surprisingly happy to toddle on at slow speeds. But this is no shopping car. At £32,000, or just under 30 if you build it yourself, it's a Caterham flagship. And you can have almost as much fun in a £10,000 basic seven. Oh.